Hey guys, this is Melvin Cherry. I am the regional head and the physique coach for Get Set Go Fitness. Today it's a very exciting day for us. Today we will be training India's first female IFB pro, Deepika Chaudhary. So let's invite her. Hey guys. Hi, how are you? I'm good. So as you can see, she's in absolute crisp uh, shape. So uh, she's 14 days out from our Arnold Classic show in Australia. So we'll be training shoulders today. So we have planned a shoulder and bicep session for you today. So we'll be doing it the Get Set Go way. Thank you. Hey guys, um, thank you so much, Melvin, uh, for inviting me. And I'm thankful to Get Set Go, and I'm really, really excited. So uh, when I first spoke to uh, Melvin, and uh, he explained me the um, concept of um, how your training should be when, when, when you're in your uh, on season, as you say that. And um, why is it necessary that you have to keep your training intensity high uh, so that you retain your muscle mass even if you are in your calorie deficit? All the science behind it and then how it should be different uh, from your peak week. So there's a difference uh, in your training only when it comes to the peak week. Otherwise, how your training session should be. After having all that decision, uh, I was I was really, really excited when I got invitation by Get Set Go and um, yeah, so let's do it, Get Set Go style. Yeah, Melvin? So Deepika has no idea what we have planned for her. So we have a killer shoulder and tricep session. So we are going to take her gels and tricep to the next level. So Get Set Go! Get Set Go! We'll of course start with some dynamic stretches to prepare our joints well to go through the annihilation. The idea here is to facilitate the mobility of the joints so that we get really smooth execution of the exercises. So warm-ups are really crucial from safety point of view. Doing it lubricates your joints with the synovial fluid and ensures frictionless movement. Now I want you to understand that there is no textbook protocol of doing this. It is just about dynamically moving your joints in every single angle possible before you get to the weights. So we'll just do some rotator cuff exercises and some basic stretches and we'll keep the intensity really low and we'll not let the muscles fatigue. So we started with two sets of push-ups because I feel it is a really good way to get your upper body warmed up. The first exercise we'll be doing is a seated shoulder press. You'll see a lot of people keeping the recliner of the bench perpendicular to the ground, but I like it inclined as it takes the pressure off the lower back and we can focus better on the anterior deltoids. We are focusing on the negative of the rep to cause maximum muscle recruitment and damage. Deepika is going to demonstrate further the kind of intensity which requires to have the physique capable enough to win a show like Anand Classic. Since we are taking the reps slow and controlled on the way down, or as we say the eccentric, our body consumes a lot of ATP. So make sure you breathe well before you press the weight up to supply your muscles with enough oxygen. The thing about final peaks to the show is you know keeping that intensity super high and really visualizing that level of conditioning that can blow everyone's mind off.
I don't want you to lock your elbows at the top of the rep. Instead, keep that little flexion so that the muscle has a tension throughout. exercise we'll be doing is a face pull. While doing this, I want you to be really good with the form. I don't want you to keep the weights really high, but just enough to fail within the prescribed rep range with proper technique. So you see Deepika is leaning backwards and she has locked her shoulders tight and pulling the rope towards her face. I'm tapping on her redeltoids a couple of times during the set and I'm doing this because I want her to have that mind-muscle connection and completely burn off the red oil as opposed to using any momentum and have that trap muscle involvement. The fourth exercise that we are doing is a bent over reverse fly. I chose this exercise specifically because this requires a really good neuromuscular control to feel that red hilt working. Now the range of motion here is short. The reason being, I don't want her to use any momentum. Instead, I want her to focus on pausing at the peak of contraction for a second. She will stop the rep exactly at the point she feels the tension is going off the muscle and then rip out all over again. So this workout is not crazy on the volume side, but it is intense. If you train exactly the way Deepika is training, you will feel the blood and the lactic acid inflating your muscle and the burn is going to be really really sick. Even on the dumbbell lateral raise that we are doing now, the range of motion is short, but the control and the time under tension is what matters. Now we move to a cable variation for the lateral depths. I like this because of the constant tension that the muscle is under and we can focus more on just getting the pump rather than thinking about maintaining the tension. Once we are done with all the heads of the shoulder, we will move to triceps. Do you want to build bigger arms? Train your triceps with the most perfection. 70% of your arms are triceps anyways. So we are doing a reverse grip cable pushdown. 
This works the long head of the tricep, which usually gets ignored. So, to get the most out of this exercise, focus on slowing down the rep and the negative. I generally like having a slight lean while doing this. This helps me avoid any cheating by swinging my core when the set is close to failure. The second exercise for tricep is a barbell tricep extension. As you can see, Deepika has retracted her shoulder blades and maintained a tight core to avoid any shoulder involvement and keep the tension only on the tricep muscle. We did not really stick to a rep range as planned, it was more of an instinctive set to failure to finish the workout strong. The last exercise we'll do is a rope extension. We did a drop set here to completely destroy whatever is left in store. I didn't want her to leave any stone unturned and hence a little bit of volume to rush all the blood into the muscle. That was a killer workout. So as you guys uh, have seen, we did not keep the workout very high on the volume side. We did not do anything crazy. The workout was more focused on intensity and keeping the rest periods really short so that we can make sure that our heart rate is up the, up the entire time and we're burning as much fat as we can. And as you can see now, uh, all the heads of her shoulder are visible <laughs> properly because she's prepping unlike me. So let's get to know from Deepika, how was the workout for her? Uh, it was super super awesome, uh, fun which can paralyze you, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, the, as I said before, the training session was uh, really uh, scientifically designed. It was crisp, we finished it all in 45 minutes. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes of uh, mobility drills and then 45 minutes of our training session. And then we ended with uh, about 30 minutes of stretches. Uh, static stretches after that. So it was truly awesome. That's Thank you so much for taking the role, Melvin. And I'm looking forward for another training session with uh, you and your team very soon. All the very best to all your viewers and do subscribe. Uh, get the go uh, this Facebook page and I think you have a YouTube, YouTube channel, channel as well. So do check that and I assure you that if the training and diet plan is 
designed by such experts who know the science behind it and who know what they are talking about. The results are guaranteed. I can assure you that. So thank you all for watching the video and do subscribe. See you all soon. That's really kind of her. And uh, just to mention, she is competing for the Arnold Classic in Australia in two weeks. So all the best to her on behalf of all our viewers. For more such content and for more such videos with Deepika, please like, share and subscribe. See Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.